creatures have been around for millions of years. They were even roaming Earth before the dinosaurs. And now, they're helping us fight viruses. These unlikely heroes are horseshoe crabs. And there's more to them than you might think. So how many eyes do you think a horseshoe crab has? Why is their blood special? And why are horseshoe crabs the key to COVID-19 vaccines? These armored shells with legs look like crabs, but they're more closely related to scorpions and spiders. And the way they look hasn't changed for 450 million years. They really are living fossils. They move around using five sets of legs that also shovel food into the horseshoe crab's mouths. And it may look like they have two eyes, but they have nine. Their two main eyes find mates. The others are scattered throughout the crab's body to detect movement and changes in moonlight. It looks like they got their priorities right. Ah, so romantic. Their eyes might not seem as good as ours, but the ones they use for detection sure are sensitive so they can see even the tiniest bits of light at night. And that's important for them because their spawning activity happens during the full moon's high tide and the new moons of May and June. Now, if that didn't amaze you, what color do you think their blood is? It's an unusual bright blue. But that isn't the reason why their blood is so special. Horseshoe crab blood contains immune cells that are sensitive to toxic bacteria. And when these cells detect foreign bacteria, blood clots around it to protect the rest of the crab's body. And this unique defense system has also helped us. Since the 1970s, scientists and researchers have been testing vaccines using horseshoe crab blood to make sure they're safe for us. Those immune cells in the blood contain Limulus amoebocyte lysate. Huh, my grandmother's name or LAL for short. It's the only natural substance we know of that detects contaminants called endotoxins. And it does a great job detecting even the tiniest amount of toxic bacteria. So with COVID-19, you can imagine that the amount of testing needed has drastically increased. This means the horseshoe crab is unknowingly helping us fight the virus. But unfortunately, it's taking a toll on their population. Delaware Bay in the United States is a hotspot for egg laying. And in 1990, an estimated 1.24 million crabs spawned. But by 2002, only 333,500 of the crabs spawned. The problem is, scientists need the blood, and they get it by bleeding the horseshoe crabs. They then release them back into the ocean. But a study in 2010 determined that 30% of the crabs died after being bled and released back into the ocean. This has affected the food chain. Migratory birds, like the red knot, have been affected by the decrease in horseshoe crabs. The crabs are their main food source as the birds migrate between Chile and the Arctic. But it's not all bad news. We humans might be responsible for endangering such a fascinating creature, but some people are helping the humble horseshoe crab. Many scientists raise horseshoe crabs in hatcheries. At the Charles River Laboratories, they release crabs into the Atlantic Ocean. And researchers are trying to create a substitute for the lysate in the crab's blood. So we should be thankful for the horseshoe crab and make sure they thrive. They have nine eyes and are helping us fight viruses. That's what horseshoe crabs do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.